One question I'm often asked is how do you go about planing end grain and getting smooth results? As you could tell here, my plane is kind of making some noises as I was going across. A simple solution is to simply lubricate the bottom of your plane. Here I've got a tin can and I've got an old t-shirt tightly wrapped in there and I've soaked it with light machine oil. So I just take one swipe across that and then I can go back to my wood and it it is so much easier to plane with that sole lubricated like that. Another option is to take some mineral spirits or you could use isopropyl alcohol and, and a water mixture and wet the end grain down to soften those wood fibers. And I think you'd notice a big difference now, one of the problems we have with planing end grain is that you can see here I'm starting to get a little blowout where the plane exits the wood and those fibers on that back edge are not supported anymore. So how do you get around that? Well, there are a couple options. Option number one is to simply form a slight chamfer on that back edge. And then you could come back and plane the end grain and there's no tear out because of that chamfer. Now, sometimes that chamfer is not a good thing because you want that, that piece is gonna be an appearance piece and you don't want that chamfer on that work piece. So what's option number two? Option number two for avoiding tear out on the back edge of your work piece is to take a piece of scrap that's the same thickness as your work piece and clamp it in your vise right up tight against your work piece so that it supports those fibers on that back edge. Now you can plane that end grain and not worry about blowout on the back edge. Yet another option for avoiding tear out on the back edge of your workpiece as you're planing the end grain is to simply come at it from both sides. You can start planing towards the middle, flip the workpiece around or change your position and come over here and come at it from the other side. I have a little difficulty with that particular method because I want to make sure that I've got one smooth stroke all the way across. So I tend to use either the backing piece method or the chamfer method to get the best results on end grain. So I hope that by now you've seen some other uses for a block plane and it gives you another excuse to pull yours out, sharpen it, and put it to good use. <laughs>